Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lights here. We're back with another video. I haven't made a video in a couple of days because it's been a wild ride in crypto, okay? I haven't been focusing on Pancake Swap for a couple of days because I've been too busy trading this volatility and making lots and lots of money on Binance with the market dip with the high cap altcoins. Obviously, it was a massive dip, guys. But it's always good to have uh, a large bag of stable coins on the sidelines ready to buy these dips because if I give you an example I bought this dip over here I didn't think the Cardano was going to come down as quickly I was actually on the phone to a friend at the time I said I think Cardano could potentially hit a target of a dollar okay so if we look at my order history I actually managed to pick Cardano up at one dollar and six cents because it happened before my eyes right and I went in big right as you can see I went in heavy over 100k on Cardano and I was scaling out Right, I was just bought the dip, okay? I knew it was gonna bounce, right? Um, but playing it safe, okay? Because there has been times where I've bought the dip and it has carried on dipping, okay? But these support and resistance lines are clearly good for dips at the end of the day. Um, I didn't think it would happen so quickly, but it actually did. And it's just fortunate that I was in the position to, to pick this up, all right, guys? So I managed to make a lot of money in a very short space of time because the dip literally bounced straight back up, got it at $1.06. I was scaling out $1.26, $1.22, uh, and, and, and so on, right? And the same thing on Matic as well, right? So, I mean, it's good to be able to snipe these trades, okay? So just wanted to let you guys know um, there are strategies that you can use to make money in the dip at the end of the day. Got to have some Tether on the sidelines or some stable coin, whether it be BUSD, USD coin, or whatever is your preferred choice. You can make a lot of money. You can also trade these bounces um, as it goes. I, I am in a Matic trade at the moment, and I got in approximately $2.15. I believe this is going up. Okay, ADA just made a trade on ADA as well. Uh, a second trade on ADA. I managed to get a good profit on that boy at approximately a dollar and seventy cents. Let's have a look. I bought Ada at a dollar and seventy two cents, okay, and managed to take profit at a dollar and eighty nine cents, okay. So, very quick snipe trades, all right, guys. Um, that's what I've been doing, um, because right now, you know, the market is down. Okay, so that is also affecting what we what happens to us on on pancake swap because we are holding BNB and stuff like that. So not a lot of people are jumping into trades as frequently. Okay, new tokens are coming out and they're not performing as well just because of the market conditions. Okay, so now is not the best time, but stay tuned because I will have some good things coming up on the channel for those of you that love to trade on pancake swap. Stay tuned for that because I've been talking to one or two projects and there are a few things coming. Uh, maybe even some pre-sales and stuff like that. So there's going to be ways for us to still really rake in those profits while the market conditions are down. We need to find out where the money is and we follow the money, okay? Also on the Phantom Network, there are one or two projects coming up. So I'm going to do a video about a pre-sale uh, that is coming up. In fact, it's not a pre-sale actually. Uh, there's a whitelist for that. And there's a new project basically coming on the Phantom chain. So stay tuned for that as well. Uh, Matic Network, there have been projects from Matic Network that have been reaching out to me as well. So I'm going to have a mixed batch of things uh, to come in the upcoming days and weeks. Okay. But right about now, I wanted to quickly talk about Pancake Bunny. Okay. So Pancake Bunny had an exploit and it actually dumped super hard. Um, for those of you that don't know what Pancake Bunny is, okay, it is a staking application all right recently got investment from binance so i want to point this out because nobody's safe right this one is like one of the one of the uh, the bmfs in uh in the binance smart chain okay and it had an exploit and it's literally dumped all the way down i mean at its peak this was 530 dollars it's come all the way down to uh, well it's approximately 30 dollars at the moment but i think it went much lower than that so nobody is safe, guys. Is this a buying opportunity? I did manage to pick some up, okay, around $28, $29. I bought some because, you know, I'm hoping for a nice bounce, okay? It could be a long-term hold. I have been trying to stake some over here on Pancake Bunny, but it's not actually going through. But I'd like to put some in there and get 500%, but it's not actually going through. The transactions keep failing. So um, I will keep trying and we'll see if we can get a stake in there. If we can, I'll probably increase my bag. But I'm not sure what they're going to do with this. I really can't see them doing a new contract or anything like that. It's still got a massive market cap and there's still a lot of holders 
in fact if we go to BSC scan I believe it's over like 85 85,000 holders okay uh, on pancake bunny so um, I think they'll literally just be holding out for a recovery on this one so I think it's basically an opportunity to pick up some cheap bunny tokens fortunately I wasn't in this token when it dumped before I was staking cake on there and I was earning bunny but every time I got bunny I would sell it and swap it for cake basically so I um, haven't lost any money on this at the end of the day and um, yeah I think it's just a land of opportunity right now to be buying cheap tokens going back to ADA Bitcoin and all that lot I personally think that it may not be over yet it could still roll over and there could still be some more downside for these tokens at the end of the day I've seen it many times before uh, the token dumps okay it gets a nice bounce it comes back to test these moving averages and then it rolls back over and you get more downside whether it will take out the previous low I don't know okay but it wouldn't be unusual to see Bitcoin or any other currency come down and test the previous high for support so there is potential for Bitcoin to come all the way down to 20k I'm not saying that that's going to happen. I'm not saying that I want it to happen, okay? But we have to consider the possibility that that can happen, okay? So 20K, uh, if it does go down there, that's going to be a huge buying opportunity, guys. So uh, take note for that, all right? And of course, if that happens, that's going to affect the rest of the market also. But like I said, buying opportunities, okay? So um, if you are going to be getting into positions, make sure you're scaling in. Don't jump in with everything that you have. Scale in slowly if you are looking for the long-term hold position if you're looking for the short-term bounces a lot of money to be made um but yeah take extra caution at the end of the day all right guys so i wanted to put this quick video out for you let you know what i was doing while i've been quiet for the past few days do expect more to come from me over the next uh, few days and weeks and um yeah i think that's about it if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe like and comment tick the little bell for notifications i'll see you guys in the next video